The year was 1947. World War II was over, but a new kind of tension was gripping the globe, the Cold War. Against this backdrop of suspicion and secrecy, something strange happened near the small town of Roswell, New Mexico, something that would spark decades of mystery and intrigue. It all began in early July on a ranch just outside of town. A rancher named Mac Brazell stumbled upon something unusual in his pasture, a large debris field scattered with metallic material unlike anything he'd ever seen. This was no ordinary crash, news of the strange wreckage spread quickly and soon the eyes of the world were on Roswell. The Roswell incident is more than just a local legend, it's a cornerstone of UFO lore, a story that has captivated the public imagination for generations. But what really happened in the desert that summer? Let's take a closer look. Imagine you're Mac Brazell, it's a hot July day and you're out checking your sheep. Suddenly you come across something that stops you in your tracks. Scattered across the ground are pieces of metallic debris like nothing you've ever seen. It's lightweight, almost paper thin, and it seems to defy description. What would you think? That's exactly what happened to Brazell in the summer of 1947. Intrigued and a little bit unnerved, he gathered up some of the debris and brought it into town. Word spread like wildfire and soon the local sheriff was involved, followed by the military. The debris field was unlike anything anyone had ever seen. Witnesses described it as being incredibly strong yet unbelievably lightweight. Some even said it couldn't be cut or burned. As the military descended on the ranch, a sense of secrecy and urgency filled the air. What had they found in the New Mexico desert? When the military arrived at the debris field, things took a dramatic turn. The Roswell Army Airfield quickly cordoned off the area, preventing anyone from getting close. The initial press release from the Roswell Army Airfield sent shockwaves across the country. It boldly declared that they had recovered a flying disc from a ranch near Roswell. The story was picked up by newspapers nationwide, and just like that, the legend of the Roswell incident was born. But the story didn't end there. Within hours, the official narrative began to shift. The Roswell Army Airfield issued a retraction, claiming that the flying disc was nothing more than a downed weather balloon. The debris was whisked away to a secret location and the public was left wondering what really happened on that fateful day. The swift change in the official story only fueled the flames of speculation. People weren't buying the weather balloon explanation. The Roswell incident wasn't going away. In the years following the Roswell incident, the government maintained that the debris recovered from the ranch belonged to a downed weather balloon. Specifically, they pointed to a top-secret project known as Project Mogul. This project involved launching high-altitude balloons equipped with microphones to monitor Soviet nuclear tests. According to the official explanation, the debris found by Mac Brazell was simply from one of these balloons that had crashed in the desert. On the surface, the Project Mogul explanation seemed plausible, however many people remained skeptical. The descriptions of the material recovered from the crash site didn't quite match up with the materials used in Project Mogul balloons. The question remained, what really crashed in the desert that summer? As the years passed, the Roswell incident refused to fade from public consciousness. Instead, it took on a life of its own, fueled by eyewitness accounts and whispers of a government cover-up. People who lived in and around Roswell at the time of the crash came forward with their own stories, adding fuel to the fire of speculation. These weren't just stories of debris and strange lights in the sky, though. These were tales of something truly extraordinary, an alien spacecraft and its otherworldly occupants. One of the most compelling aspects of the Roswell incident is the sheer number of eyewitnesses who have come forward over the years. These witnesses, many of whom were respected members of their community, shared remarkably similar stories of strange lights in the sky, unusual military activity, and even glimpses of non-human bodies. These eyewitness accounts created a breeding ground for conspiracy theories. Two names are forever linked to the Roswell incident, Glenn Dennis and Jesse Marcel. Their stories, if true, offer some of the most compelling evidence to support the claim that something truly extraordinary happened in the New Mexico desert. Glenn Dennis was a young mortician working in Roswell at the time of the crash. He claimed to have received a call from the Roswell Army Airfield, requesting a supply of small, hermetically sealed coffins. Jesse Marcel was an intelligence officer stationed at the Roswell Army Airfield. 
He was one of the first on the scene at the debris field and was tasked with gathering up the wreckage. Marcel claimed that the material he recovered was unlike anything he had ever seen before. Both Dennis and Marcel maintained their stories until their deaths, adding significant weight to the claims of a government cover-up. The Roswell incident didn't just spark conspiracy theories, it ignited the public's imagination about the possibility of life beyond Earth. The story, with all its mystery and intrigue, quickly became a cultural phenomenon, inspiring countless books, movies, TV shows, and documentaries. Roswell became synonymous with UFOs and alien encounters, forever etching itself into the fabric of popular culture. From the grainy, black-and-white photographs of the alleged crash site to the dramatic reenactments and documentaries, Roswell captured the attention of a world hungry for the unknown. The incident became a parable for government secrecy and the possibility that we are not alone in the universe. The impact of Roswell on popular culture is undeniable. It has fueled countless creative works from the classic sci-fi film Close Encounters of the Third Kind to the popular TV series The X-Files. Roswell became a cultural touchstone, a shared experience that transcended generations. Faced with mounting public pressure and renewed interest in the Roswell incident, the U.S. government finally decided to address the decades-old mystery. In the 1990s, the U.S. Air Force released two reports that attempted to provide a definitive explanation for the events of 1947. The first report, released in 1994, claimed that the debris recovered from the Roswell crash site was consistent with a then-classified program called Project Mogul. This project, as previously mentioned, involved high-altitude balloons designed to monitor Soviet nuclear tests. The second report, released in 1997, went even further. It addressed the claims of recovered alien bodies, stating that these reports were likely a result of misidentified test dummies used in high-altitude parachute experiments. These reports, while seemingly comprehensive, did little to quell the suspicions of many who believed that the government was still hiding something. The Roswell incident, it seemed, was destined to remain an enigma. Despite the government's attempts to provide a definitive explanation for the Roswell incident, doubts and debates continue to swirl around the event. Skeptics point to inconsistencies in eyewitness accounts, the lack of physical evidence for an alien spacecraft, and the government's history of secrecy as reasons to dismiss the claims of an extraterrestrial cover-up. They argue that the most logical explanation is often the simplest one. The debris was from a weather balloon, and the stories of alien bodies are the result of overactive imaginations and the passage of time. However, believers in the extraterrestrial hypothesis remain unconvinced. They point to the sheer number of witnesses, the strange properties of the debris described by those who claim to have seen it, and the government's shifting explanations as evidence that something extraordinary happened at Roswell. The debate over Roswell, is a microcosm of the larger debate about the existence of extraterrestrial life. Whether you believe in UFOs or remain a skeptic, there's no denying the enduring power of the Roswell incident. Over seven decades have passed since that fateful summer in 1947, yet the Roswell incident continues to captivate our imaginations. Why does this event, shrouded in mystery and controversy, still hold such a powerful grip on our collective consciousness? The answer perhaps lies in the fundamental questions that Roswell raises. Questions about the nature of truth, the limits of our knowledge, and the possibility of life beyond our own planet. Roswell, at its core, is a story about the unknown. It's a story that taps into our innate curiosity about the world around us, about the possibility that something extraordinary might be lurking just beyond our understanding. The legacy of Roswell is not just about UFOs or alien encounters, it's about the power of belief, the allure of the unknown, and the enduring human need to explore the boundaries of our understanding. As an explorer, I'm drawn to the unknown. Whether it's a lost city in the jungle or a mysterious shipwreck at the bottom of the ocean, I'm driven by a desire to uncover the truth, to shed light on the hidden corners of our world. The Roswell incident is no different. It's a mystery that has captivated me for years, a puzzle that I'm still trying to piece together. The truth about Roswell may never be fully known, but that doesn't mean we should stop searching. The pursuit of knowledge, the quest for answers, is what drives us forward.